Welcome to this Aerial Flex class. Very easy to follow. Just start on the Warrior 2. Be careful with the alignment of your knee with your foot. Start flexing, putting your arm to the ground and maybe grabbing the silk. Inhale when you go up and exhale when you go down. Start stretching. Do this four or five times. Then change for Trikonasana. Inhale, flex. Exhale, extend the leg. Inhale and exhale. The same four or five times. Flexing. Now just do it with the arm. Inhale and exhale. Go close to the floor. Make sure your arm stays close to the ear. Then you'll extend your body close to the leg in the front. Make sure it stays really connected, core engaged. Now align your spine and change to the warrior two, grabbing the silk above your head Make sure the knee is alignment with your foot. And then put the knee on the mat and stretch your back, look into the sky. Engage your shoulders. knees together and now start making a variation of cat cow inhale and exhale and then stay up and we'll do the same thing to the other side Start on warrior two, align your shoulders, align your belly, engage your core. Start flexing your body, bringing your hands close to the mat. You can grab the silk. Inhale and exhale when you go down. Do this four or five times before changing the exercise. Do it slowly. Feel the breathing, engage the core. Mula Bandha. Then change to Trikonasana, flexing the leg and extend it. Look to the sky, to your hand and inhale when you flex and exhale when you extend the leg. Do the same with your arm, go up and go down close to your ear. Then you flex your body close to your, uh, to your leg. Make sure that she stays in alignment. Change to warrior one. Bringing your body up. Grabbing the silk above your head. And flex. 
Ah, this is so nice. It feels really nice to do this. Bring your knee close to the floor. And then bring your knees closer to a cat cow exchange. Inhale, exhale, bring your belly up and in, close to your back. Be careful with this changing. You go close to the floor. And this is the fish pose. Inhale, go up. Forward fold. Stay there. Just breathe. Then you bring one leg behind. Make sure you are well seated on your mat. This is a variation of the warrior two, but seated on the mat. Feel your spine flexing and align in the alignment. Always grabbing the silk. This is a variation of the forward fold. You can stay there for three or five breathings. Now start flexing and extending the front leg. Stay extended. It's supposed to feel good, not hurting a lot. So make sure you are feeling flexible. Change the leg, do the same flex and extend four or five times. And then just stay. And then we'll do the same thing to the other leg. So start with one leg extended and the other flexed. Variation of the warrior two. Feel the alignment of your spine, feeling more flexible. Grab the silk above your head and then you can fold, fold to the front. Bring both legs to the front, activate them. And then bring the silk to your belly. This is, a, this is a difficult entrance, so if it's difficult for you, you can just go up and put the silk on your waist. Then one of your legs will be on the silk and the other one will be straight on the mat. And you forward fold to the front. You can do this for both legs. Make sure your hands are close to your foot. And bring your body close to your leg, as close as possible. Then you can make sure your both feet are in the silk and slowly you start coming down to the floor. This is different transitions that you can use 
and it's, if it's difficult for you to do this, you just make sure you do it safely. We have tutorials on this program that you can use to learn step by step how to do this. This is the same entrance as before, but now you are on Superman pose, one variation. Slowly you start to come over, be careful with this, and finish seated on your hammock with your hands above your head. Bring one leg to the ground and the other stays on the silk. Grab the silk on one hand and make a small torsion with your body. Grab the silk with both hands and Go to a split. Inhale, align your body and exhale. Option to an aerial split. Do this three or four, four times. And then you can choose to make this transition. When you put both legs and then you change the side carefully, bringing one leg outside the silk and then put it again on. And you change the side. This is just an option. You can do uh, the same thing to the other side and not changing the side. This is just one more option that you can align on your classes or on your practice just making options and then do the split to the other side make sure you don't use the same leg again inhale when you go up and exhale when you are extending The same twist to the other side. You can grab the silk if it's better for you. Grab the silk again with both legs and making the same transition. Now just open your legs to the side and do a back bend. Use always the hands on this option. Then you go up and we'll start opening the silk to sit inside. Lay down and just relax breathing absorbing the practice of today thank you for this moment hope you enjoy this practice as much as I enjoy teaching it to you. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. Just breathing. Namaste.